beastly and to know I'm God. We are in this uh, beautiful day, in this beautiful, uh, insane, ultimate nature place. <laughs> Look at this beauty. It's a little bit cold today, yes, it's a little bit cold, but every day is the perfect day, every moment is the perfect moment, that's enlightenment, that's how it feels uh, when you live through uh, the energies of uh, your true self, consciousness, the just eight dimension, fifth dimension, that's how living in the higher realms of uh, embodying those higher energies feels like. Every moment is the perfect moment. So, this video is gonna be a path to in flames. I'm gonna sign in the truth, be still and know I'm God. So, you know, get lost in the illusions of the matrix, in the misinformation, in, uh, in the lack of information, which is the darkness, so you can get the light and uh, set yourself free. So, we have a lot to talk about in this, uh, in this run. Two in flames. <laughs> you have to watch my videos, but uh, I'm gonna try to uh, say all the wisdom in this one. But it's a lot you have to understand because uh, that's a fifth dimensional relationship. It's not uh, like everything uh, you knew f from this matrix, from this uh, 3D matrix. And actually, it forces you to drop all of this, all of this BS, all of those illusions. So you can get back to your own unique aesthetic essence. So you can reconnect back with your true self. And uh, so you can uh, awaken from this matrix. So the twin flame relationship is all about the spiritual awakening. You really have to understand this. You really have to understand this. Okay, all, uh, all the need you have to be with that person is your own unresolved issues and uh, to to be honest that that is another you in another time and space both the bodies are illusions okay your consciousness and that's your divine mirror you see everything that you are in a deeper level so if you think about them they do everything else but think about you because the thinking in you, that part of you is the matrix, is the unconscious activity. So you're trying to force a relationship out of fear of abandonment. So you're gonna uh, get that shed right in front of your face. You're gonna see yourself in the other person. That means that uh, you can't run anymore. If that person, uh, if you know that this person is in your life, it's gonna be a knowing, guys. It's a different kind of information. You have thinking which is uh, the thing in consciousness, and then you have the higher dimension of consciousness, which uh, you're getting downloads, and uh, it's like knowing, it's like you're remembering. It's like you're remembering, it's not, you're not thinking. It's a different kind of information. So, if that is your divine mirror, and if you are a twin flame, because not everybody is a uh, twin flame, it's, uh, it's gonna be a knowing you are actually, it's gonna come from your intuition from within. It's not gonna be thinking. The relationship is energetic, energetic, and it's actually a fifth dimensional one. What it does, it is, uh, it is your highway to the transcendence. It is your highway to the fifth dimension. It's, it is your highway to the new earth. It is your highway to, to the original game. Okay, so you have to understand that uh, it's not like everything you knew. Actually, it forces you again, I repeat that, to drop everything you knew about relationships uh, away. It's not a romantic one, it can become a romantic one in the end game only if it is in the divine plan, only if it is in the path that God created for you because it's all about uh, reconnecting back with your true self consciousness and transcending this matrix, transcending this time dimension. So, when you play your true self, which is actually that, uh, that other person there. You know, separation is an illusion and you have to overcome that eventually. You have to see, be, 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 you know, uh, you have to, to see beside the illusions of this matrix. There is no separation. Actually, we are all one, but with that uh, specific person, you have the same energetic frequency. 
It's uh, your true self. It's you. It's you in another time and space. Let that sink in. How can that be possible? It can be. It can be. It's your spiritual awakening. If, if you can't get it, you have to watch my videos and uh, keep moving forward in your spiritual awakening. How you use that mirror is very simple. You use that person as a pointer to look within you. Okay. You use that person as a pointer to look within you deeper. So, if this person is running from you, where are you running from yourself? You have to look within you. You have to make your internal world more real than the outer world and that specific uh, body in that time and space, which is you, of course, there is no separation. It's really hard to grasp that in the beginning of your spiritual awakening. But um, that specific person is you. Okay, and uh, it's uh, your divine mirror. So you use that mirror the way I tell you. If, if this person is running for you, where are you running from yourself? Okay, look within. Look the behavior of that mirror up there so you can look within you. As, as Christ told us back in the days, I left you a path to look within and that is exactly the same thing. You have to look within a deeper level, to know thyself, to, to pay attention to your unconscious activity, fear of abandonment, victim mentality, uh, fear of rejection, fear, fear of illness, fear of uh, the unknown. You have a lot of unresolved issues that uh, you are going to see them all in that passion, only if you learn how to see. It's, it's like a mirror that you have to watch within, that's all. Don't get attached to that person because you're gonna suffer an endless loop. And actually, you will notice that, that, you, can, you, that you cannot control this relationship. It's, it's, uh, you can't do anything to control it, okay? And of course, that's the biggest blessing that can happen to you. This relationship is all about your spiritual awakening and it can be a loving, romantic relationship after. But what you become, when you become whole, when you ascend into the fifth dimension, you are an infinite being, you are an infinite divine being. Everything comes from within you. You are whole. What you become is beyond your uh, uh, greatest imagination because it's beyond. It's the fifth dimension. Imagination is happening in the fourth dimension. It's in the thinking realm. So it's beyond, 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 beyond beyond everything you knew. What you become is, oh my God, and that person, that person which is you, separation is an illusion and that's what you have to transcend. The consciousness of the thinking mind is your highway. Stop running from that person, okay? You have to uh, uh, <laughs> stop running for your, from yourself, actually. You are not, this person is running from you because uh, you haven't awakened yet, because you are running from yourself. Let that freaking set sink in because you will never end the cycle. Okay. And the cycle is all about overcoming your shadow side, guys, and transcending the level of thinking consciousness. It's all about getting into the fifth dimension. It's all about getting your butt outside this matrix. That's all. That's all, guys. It's a, your spiritual awakening and it never ends. You have a greater divine plan with that person. It's your soul's path. Okay. Uh, you might not be able to grasp the bigger picture from your current level of consciousness, but uh, eventually, as you ascend, and the more you ascend in consciousness, it's gonna make more and more... Uh, uh, it's, it's gonna have... Uh, uh, you know, you are going to begin to link the puzzle pieces and it's going to begin to make sense as you ascend more and more in consciousness. But for now, you have a lot of finer work to do. Okay, you have to get rid of your shadow side. Because in order to get to the fifth dimension, to the transcendent, you have really to overcome every fear and every... and you have to clear all your karma. So, ah, that's all this is about. It's all about your transcendence. It's all about uh, your spiritual awakening. It's all about your spiritual journey. Okay. So all that need to talk with the other person, all that need to, uh, to all that chasing, it, it, it literally tells you that you are running from yourself. You are. The truth of the matter is that at this moment that you do that, 
that you let fear guide you, you're pussy, 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 pussy. And uh, you don't face your shadow. And that, uh, that, uh, that other you in another time and space is gonna uh, <laughs> keep on doing that until you face your shadow side. And you, the divine feminine that you have awakened first, okay, you have to do your work so uh, the other side of you can do the work as, you're, as well. You, you are leading this relationship and that's the truth. When you change from within, when you remove the layers that, that are not you, when you detach from all of those subconscious programmings of the matrix, you only set yourself free, that other, that other you is going to begin to change as well from within. Okay, you are linked from within, it's you. There is no separation, do you understand? And you have all the power in the world to change the dynamics of that relationship. Actually, you, the divine feminine that I wake up first, it's, it's, uh, the, it's the you in the two bodies that you have in this time dimension that uh, controls this uh, whole situation. But not, uh, not from the thinking consciousness. You have to become your true self. You have to develop the awareness of the awareness inside you, the awareness, which is you, consciousness, of the awareness of the thing in mind. So you must have a bare eye view over the thing in mind. You have to experience the shift in consciousness. And that person, which is you, in your other time and space, is pushing your, <laughs> your, your, your <laughs> is pushing you all the way down to transcendence. And it's really uncomfortable, guys, because uh, it, tr it triggers everything inside you and it's you, it's you that you trigger everything inside you and you have to use that mirror, you know, that illusion out there that, that is the separation, that is another body you have to use that mirror to transcend this matrix, that's all guys and it's, uh, and, uh, it's uh, super uncomfortable because, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, everything that is uh, fear based inside you, everything that is pain inside you is coming up to the surface. This uh, specific uh, illusion out there, which is you, the illusion in the 3D world, is uh, pulling everything <laughs> uh, from your inside that is fear based to be faced. And, of course, uh, if you don't know what you do there, uh, you're gonna end up keep repeating the same cycles again and again because uh, uh, you are running from yourself, and that's the truth, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go. Oops. You are running from yourself, and that's the truth. Stop being a pussy. Face yourselves. Use the mirror. Don't be a pussy. Don't run. Don't say. Don't do anything. Don't let uh, fear guide you. Uh, use the mirror and ascend. It's all about your ascension, beautiful soul. And uh, if it is in the path of God, which is your true self, which is your consciousness, you're gonna be with that person, but you don't have to do anything. Because it's you! It's you! It's you! <laughs> and when you do anything through the thing in mind, which is not you, which is the separate self, which is... Uh, the ego, which is the illusion, which is the matrix, which is the devil in you. When you do anything from that level of consciousness, the thinking, you are actually moving away from you and you are moving away from that uh, another you in another time and space because it's just an illusion. There is no separation and you have to understand that. It's all about the transcendence. So stay and understand what I'm saying because uh, you don't have to do anything in the thinking level. Uh, to, f through the thinking matrix consciousness, through the 3D ego thinking matrix consciousness, to manifest that person, okay? Uh, you can actually, you have actually no control. If it is in the divine plan, to be together you will be. If it is not, you will not be. So forget, forget that uh, pussy behavior to be with that other person for the moment, okay? And uh, that's the ultimate truth. Okay, you, you can't change anything. It's, it's the path of God, it's already given to you. It's the best path. Wherever you go in your transcendence, in your transcendence, it's the best, 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 beyond your wild imagination path you will ever walk. So trust that, trust you are going to the best, best, best life ever. 
by using that uh, U in another time and space as a mirror reflection to look within and get rid of the garbage inside you. Okay, that's all. Arm yourselves with courage because you have to face your set. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. And then you become divine. Then you become. Th then you become you, your true self, the son of God, consciousness. You become a divine whole being, infinite being, and everything comes from within you. What you become, you have to understand, is oh my god. So all this desperation is coming from you that are running from your shadow side. And that other person is reflecting that. So it's not it's not gonna be easy, guys. You have to face your fears, you have to end your karma. Okay, your unconsciousness. So this relationship is the most challenging. It's another you in another time and space. It's your divine mirror. It's not like everything you knew. Okay, you have to follow me because uh, I know exactly what this is all about. And uh, you might be with the other person, you might not be. Okay, you have to understand that. You might be, you might not be. but. It's about what you become. You're becoming whole. You don't need that other person anymore, okay? It pushes you to your divinity. When you are divine, you are whole. And you are never actually separate with the other thing. The, the other is the illusion of the matrix and two flames are leaders. Guys, they are the ones that are, are gonna end this matrix, to be honest. That's why they are here. It's to you <laughs> in this time so you can uh, really destroy this whole entire uh, matrix. Okay, but you'll realize that later. So you can set everyone free. It's the divine plan. You are powerful beyond any measure. So this is the twin flame relationship. Okay, we need to to make a lot of videos about this because it's, it goes really deep. And uh, uh, you have to realize that you are leaders. It, it's you, it's just you in two bodies. <laughs> it's insane, I know, but Time doesn't even exist for us, guys. Time doesn't even exist. Time is a prison. It's your prison, actually. It's the prison of your separate self. That's why you are, end, you, you, are you have been sent here to end this uh, illusion. Look how beautiful this place is, guys. Enjoy the ultimate experience. Oh my God. And so, beautiful soul. You have to stop being a uh, PC and start facing your fears. Actually, those fears have no power over you when you awaken to your true nature. You will destroy everything with the, with the divine consciousness and with Christ consciousness, you know, it's the same thing. So, if we show, we have to realize that uh, there is nothing to be afraid of. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is really cold here. So stop being afraid of your shadow and go all in. You have to drop everything you know about relationship. Really understand that. The dogs agree, let's fucking go. Woo! Drop everything. It's all illusions. It's all illusions. Okay, it's all illusions. Everything you know through this matrix, it's a whole fame prison. And that another you in another time and space is forcing you to drop everything. So it's all about transcending the level of thinking in your mind. That's all, guys. That's all. We have to stop here because I need to pee. And I need to get the heck out of here because it's getting too cold. So... Let's end this transmission here. The doggy agrees. Hello, doggy. Hello, hello. Ooh, ooh. So, this is a video about Twin Flames. With this beautiful, I love ooh. So, peace, guys, peace. We close here because it's getting too cold. I need to get the heck out of here. Peace.